be doing this look on this makeup I have right here which was inspired by Mila Kunis and so she usually has this brown smoky eye um, which is what I was inspired by she is just so sexy but yeah if you want to see how I got this makeup look then stay tuned because I'll show you right now okay before I actually get started in the makeup I just want to say excuse this eye here it's got a little bit of redness because it is a little dried out and I have been putting a bit of lotion on it it's just the weather it's just kind of dried my eyelids out which I kind of I kind of explained it in a few videos ago but anyway I just want to say um just ignore that little bit of redness the first thing you want to do is apply a eye primer okay and the first color we're going to take is this one right here which is this um, medium shade brown color it's got a little tiny bit of shimmer in it and we're just applying this all over our eyelid up to the crease and this brown here which is just a little bit lighter so this one right here I'm just going to take a little bit of that and apply it in the middle of this brown here. Now we're going to take this dark brown eyeshadow right here and we're just going to get that on our brush. We're just going to take this and we're going to be putting it in our crease. Just blending this all out now. And now I'm going to be taking this light colour right here. I'm going to get that on my finger to apply it. And on my finger and I'm going to pat it more towards the inner corner. But not the right in the inner corner. So like more between the middle of my eyelid and the inner corner. I'm just going to pat that on. And now taking this maroon colour right here which I absolutely love. It's my favourite colour. Get a little bit of that. And we're going to put it along our lash line. Just halfway. Just going to kind of pat it to blend it in. And bring it into the outer corner a little bit. And then of course we can clean up the excess with like a makeup wipe. Just wipe that all away. Okay, and now I'm going to be taking this pencil brush right here, and we're just going to be taking this dark brown that we did in our crease, this one right here, and I'm just going to grab a little bit of that, and I'm going to mix it in with this more reddy brown right here. So we're just mixing those two colours together, and then I'm going to be applying this underneath my eye. Okay, so I know these colours make me look really tired and at the moment it looks really like I'm a zombie walking. But once you put the black on, it'll change it dramatically. So I've got a little bit of black gel eyeliner on my angled brush. And what I'm going to be doing is a nice wing on my top lash line. So I'm just making a line to where my eyebrow ends. And we're just going to be making a nice little cat liner. you can see that opens the eye up so much just that little um, wing liner and we don't want to go too thick on the outer corner what I'm going to be doing now is taking my NYX jumbo eyeliner in black bean and we're just going to get a little bit of that on our angled brush because this is a lot blacker than the Maybelline gel liner that I was using and I'm just going to go over the top because we want this really black okay and now I'm just going to go underneath my eye and take that and we want to do our waterline, but we want to do that little bit of skin right before our waterline. So where our eyelashes are, you're going to go over. I don't know if this is a little bit messy because we'll clean it up. So if you don't have um, the NYX Jumbo Eyeliner and you don't want to use a brush, you can go ahead and use a normal black eyeliner and do the same thing. I just find it a lot easier using a brush. 
So as you can see already, just that little bit of black makes my eyes look so much more awake and you know, it doesn't look as haggard as this side so you can see the difference that black makes. I'm just going to be taking a cotton bud or a q-tip as some people call it and I'm just going to smudge that black line in. Okay and you can go ahead and reline your waterline if you like um, after you do that because sometimes it takes a little bit off. Okay, so I've just gone ahead and done the other eye and now I'm just going to go ahead and curl my eyelashes and add mascara. Okay, and now after the mascara, you can wipe away any fallout that you have, and I'm going to be applying my foundation. And I'm going to be using this foundation and applying it all around the outer part of my face and blending it inwards. Then on with the inner part of my face, I'm going to be using my BB cream because it's a little bit lighter and so it'll highlight the inner part of our face. And now I'm just going to go ahead with a pressed powder and we're going to apply this all over. And now I'm just going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. So she's got gorgeous eyebrows. They're like the best shape ever. My eyebrows are completely different. I'm just going to get my eyebrow comb and we're just going to brush them up. And then I'm getting a dark brown eyeshadow or eyebrow shadow like this one here. And we're just going to very lightly fill in our eyebrows. And then getting a white eyeshadow, I'm just going to get this on my finger. I'm just going to be getting a little bit of bronzer and an angled brush. And I'm only going to be using a tiny bit. Because just applying it where my cheekbones are. And just doing a little bit of contouring just slightly on the side of my face and bringing it up here. Now I'm going to be taking this blush here, which is my favourite one, which kind of works as a highlighter as well. I'm just going to put this on the apples on my cheeks and blend it up with. So now for lips, she usually has a nude lip and I'm not a big fan of the nude lip. I like to have a little bit of colour. So I'm going to be using the I'm using this lipstick here, which is in Rose Sorbet. It's like a pretty, it's like a brownie pink nude colour. It's not too bright and it just kind of gives a little bit of colour to the lips but it's not overpowering. Um, so this is the final look and I hope everyone enjoyed this video and let me know what you think in the comments down below and if you have any um, requests for inspired looks let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!